Hi, everybody. It's another edition of the Winner's Circle Sports Betting Podcast. I'm your host, Ross Benjamin. As always, I'm joined by Chip Cherimbus. But uh, folks, unfortunately, we're having transmission problems with the video today. So Chip's just going to be talking to us. You're not going to see that handsome face of his. Chip, how are you today? I'm doing just wonderful. How are things, Ross? Oh, I can't complain, buddy. Six and oh, the last two days, uh, things are rolling really well for me right now. And I know that uh, you've been on quite a roll with your mega bucks plays in baseball and the NBA. Uh, why don't you uh, fill the folks in on how you're doing of late and also where they can find you? Thank you very much, Ross. Each and every day I post on chipwins.com. That is my site. And you can actually um, get a number to call me. We may be able to set up a personal package for you. Right now, Major League Baseball, nice win yesterday with Houston over Oakland, 29 and 14. That's over 67% the last six weeks with my top rated mega buck play. This is my single strongest best bet each and every day. I have one up there already for today, and there'll be one every day in every sport. Baseball, basketball, even football play. So we're really raring to go, and, and it's a great time of the year right now, and uh, baseball is uh, riding really hot. And I know you, I've been exceptionally on fire in baseball as well. Well, thank you, Chip. Yes, I have been. I mean, for the year right now, my record is 47 and 29. Uh, that's good for 61%. More importantly, folks, um, my average money line play on my sides and totals, run lines, whatever have you, is only minus 107. So that's 61%. A lot of guys could hit 60% and lose money, as you well know, Chip. I, we don't give out big chucks. No. I know Chip doesn't. I don't. So um, you're going to get a re good return on your investment with me in Major League Baseball. As a matter of fact, not only 47 and 29, after starting year 13 and 13, Chipper, I've gone 33 and 17 with my last 50 in Major League Baseball, 66%. Currently ranked number three in the NBA um, at sportscapping.com for the season. And I had a 2-0 and night last night in the NBA uh, I had the Washington Wizards as a 10 star top play. I also had the over in that game and uh, my NBA or excuse me, my 10 star top plays, which are equates to chippers, mega bucks plays 37 and 17 with my last 54. That's 69% in all sports chipper. I'm going to share um, and tell me if you see this, please. And I hope the viewers can as well. I am going to share, and I don't have that, so we're going to skip that. In any okay. event, um, let's get, we're going to, there's four games on Saturday, all opening games of uh, series in the NBA playoffs. We're each going to give you one selection, uh, free selection, and keep in mind, folks, we're recording on Friday, May 21st. These games go on Saturday, May 22nd, so depending on when you view this video, these lines may change. Chipper, what do you got for us on Saturday? Well, you know, Saturday, I think there's a plethora of winners out there for us, Russ. I actually like three different games pretty strongly, but I'm going to start with the earliest one. Uh, Miami's going to Milwaukee, and um, they played like a week ago, and Milwaukee really took the best of the heat. And that is the only cover, Ross, that they've had in their last seven games overall. They won that game as a, a small favorite, 122 to 108. I think they were a four-point favorite. Now they're a five-point favorite, I guess, off of that victory. But um, I'm not sold on the Bucks here. They're number one in the NBA in offense, and we know what happens to offenses in most playoff situations, regardless of the sport. When they come down to big games and big money, it's the defense that usually rules. And Miami has a number five defense in the NBA, and that's not bad considering that they've been banged up the entire year They've had health issues. Jimmy Butler's been in and out of the lineup. And if you have to want to go with character and you want to go with teams that you want to sit and think who's going to be tough down the stretch, I'll take Jimmy Butler over Giannis. I really will. I know Giannis is as good as he is. He's a great player, impact player. But when it, when push comes to shove, I just think that uh, Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat have more grit. I think they're tougher in the class situations and I'm going to take Miami here and I won't be surprised at all, Ross, if I don't need the points. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I just did an NBA futures video yesterday, uh, chip and 
Um, my, actually, Miami was my dark horse pick. I mean, they're plus 3,500 to win it all, uh, plus 1,200 to um, win the East. And people forget this is a team that advanced to the NBA Finals a season ago. I believe they lost in six games to the Lakers. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the amount of games it took, but I know they had a nice run. And, you know, fairly young team to start with and that exact roster stays intact. I like that play Chipper. And uh, I would not be shocked not only if they win that game, but they don't defeat the, the Milwaukee bucks in that series. My pick comes in the Portland and Denver game chip. You know, when I looked at this line, uh, it jumped right out at me. You have the yeah. number three seed Denver nuggets against the number six seed Portland trailblazers. Um, Denver finished five games ahead of them in the standings. And you're looking at a number three seed in an opening game of an opening series against a number six seed. And they're only a one point favorite in this game. It's like the sports books are begging you to take the short home favorite uh, Denver Nuggets. I'm not falling for that trap. Portland finished the season tremendously uh, winning 10 of the last 12. Um, they split this, excuse me, they lost two or three to Denver during the regular season, but their two losses came by just five and one points and, and um, Lillard and McCollum, the dynamic duo in the backcourt, uh, two, both of those players have not been on the same, uh, on the floor at the same time, I should say, for a lot of the season. They have been down the stretch. You see the results in a backcourt an experienced backcourt, a dynamic backcourt like that can make a world of difference come playoff time. Uh, in this particular instance, I'm just focusing on game one. I'm going to take the Portland Trailblazers here, plus one over Denver. And also Chip Chirimbus has the Miami Heat, plus four and a half in game one on Saturday over the Milwaukee Bucks. Chip, any final thoughts before we leave? No, it's just that the teams, when the big money and the big games are on the line, uh, we both rise to the occasion. This is a playoff time. I'm really psyched. Even in the NHL right now, 4-0 in the playoffs with the best bets. So uh, this, this is time for us when we get to concentrate and, you know, there's a focal point and it's, I think it's much better for us. We've discussed this before when it comes down to, to uh, making the big game winners. Well, you know, the player, especially in the NBA playoffs, uh, what we dealt with all year were players being – you never know who was going to be sitting right. and playing from day to day. And you know, now, unless they have a broken leg or something like that, uh, players are going to step up and play injured. So, and again, my old saying, big time games are for big time handicappers. And you've got two of them right here. And the proof is in the pudding. It's not arrogant. It's not bragging when you can back it up. Chipper, until the next time. Uh, for Ross Benjamin and Chip Chirimbus, I'd like to wish each and every one of you all the very best.